Okay guys, today I've got a cool uh, review here. This is going to be a review of the LG G2. This is the AT&T variant, but uh, Verizon and any of the other ones, T-Mobile, are going to look pretty much the same. The only difference is, is going to be whose bloatware is on the device, basically. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go through this. It's going to be a pretty full review. I'm going to give you guys lots of great information on this device and just kind of show it to you all around. So first off, let's just take a look at the device here. Um, I do have a little uh, SIM card slot right here. And you can actually see on the back, it shows you, you know, SIM there. Um, you do have a camera right there. And right below it is your volume up and down and your power button all on the back, which is kind of neat because then you can, you know, hold your phone. Pushing buttons on this thing. Hold your phone, you know, like this. And uh, your finger's already kind of right there where you're at. Um, so it's not, not too bad. Um, so that's right there. You can see I actually still have decals on this thing and covering up some stuff um, let's go ahead and look so that's like I said that is your sim card nothing around the top of the edge and then bottom edge, I mean this whole side smooth and then on the bottom there you have your USB plug and then your headphone jack right there also um, also on the very bottom is two speakers here and here which look to be your only speakers on it and then, oh, obviously you have your top ear speaker, your cameras and stuff like that. Little holes up there for that kind of stuff and your sensors along the top. But really, it's really a sleek phone because the buttons are all on the back right here. The sides are just, just smooth and, and, and nice and easy to use. So that's kind of the, the feel. The style's nice. It fits your hand real well. I, I, the buttons is funny on the back. I'm, I'm having trouble getting used to it. But, um, you know, it's actually not too bad having those buttons on the back like that. It really gives you a clean feel when you're holding the device. So let's go ahead and get into some of the applications that come with this device. Just the whole LG interface and launcher, you could say, um, and its skins. And let's go ahead and kind of go through those. It is kind of neat. Um, I like the little page turning um, transition here. It's very nice. Let's look at your pull down. And you can see you have some brightness stuff phone volume right there and also get to all your volumes right here uh, that's right there on that you have some applications along the top that you can go ahead and launch you have all of your quick toggles right along the top up here you can see all those let me actually hold this like this so you can see all them quick toggles right along the top and that's not too bad one thing that's a little annoying is this little button right here you think that's your settings button, but actually it's down here. That's a little confusing because those buttons are, are graphically the same, basically. Uh, that's a little confusing. Um, so some of the other stuff I can show you guys that is kind of cool looking. So you got sys uh, networks right here. It's all their features. Here you go. You've got all call sound stuff right there. Display. One thing I always like to point out right here because I, like I like to have this uh, feature on. Right here, this is what's really interesting about this under display. Most uh, stock launchers don't have this, but you can actually change the uh, screen off effect. So it fades out, retro TV, and then you can preview it. So that's what it's going to do when you turn your phone off. Or whole, whoop, you can see that one, or the standard one, the fade. Um, so that's pretty cool that they give you those options in there to actually go ahead and do that see some of the other stuff that's cool aspect ratio fonts a um, bunch of different little rotation screen stuff brightness and and so on um, let's go back into settings home screen settings and this is true clearly for your home screen so you have portrait view stuff home screen loop screen looping wallpapers and so on go back into settings and go back over to display so you do have this right here which is really really nice I like that this is in here also now it comes defaulted like this but you can see the buttons on the bottom change and I like them like that there's no point in reaching way over here to for your back button it's easier if it's just right there in the corner um, but you can totally pick you know your whole layout of those back buttons which is pretty sweet I'm actually gonna try this one I think now um, so I like that those those features are in here it's nice to see a, a launcher stock launcher that actually has some some neat features in it 
Um, so there you go, there's all that. Then we can come over here to general, and you have gestures, hands-free, storage, battery, um, and you can go ahead and look at this. And then this right here, this is what I was going to try to show you guys, is this right here is nice. See how it changes the percentage on top? I'm just a nut about battery, so I uh, really like that it has that feature right there to do the percentage, just like kind of like Samsung has, actually. So that's really cool. Let's see what else we have in here. Um, and pretty much the rest of this is pretty standard. Nothing too crazy. Uh, I did see this. And this is for USB storage, which I thought was really nice. It's just, it's already set up for OTG cables and stuff like that to put in uh, USB jump drives with an OTG cable. I, I like that it, it's already got those kind of features built into it. I think that's really nice uh, for this phone. This does have a uh, dedicated internal 32 gigs of memory on it. Um, so you can't really put an SD card in or anything like that, but if you want to connect up with an OTG cable, you can. Uh, so otherwise, let's see what we got for software here. You are running Jelly Bean Android 4.2.2. And um, let's see here. If we go to our thing here. Oh, there it is. You should see Jelly Bean. So that's pretty slick. You can see how that all functions. Um, let's see what else I can show you guys about this. Let's go ahead to the app drawer. And like I said, you can see it's got all the AT&T stuff in it. And so on. Um, nothing really struck me too much with the applications in here. Um, all looks pretty nice. I did like the file browser that they have in it. it just like, I like these screens where it really gives you some good detail in here. Just really quick. I think it's just a nice graphical interface. I did like that for the LG. Uh, let's see what else, what else I had in here that I thought was kind of interesting on here. Messaging, mobile TV, and you can you know do stuff with that, which is all through AT&T. Quick remote, I thought that was pretty slick. You can basically set it up to control any of your TV stuff and actually have remotes and do it all from this device. I'm sure it has an IR blaster or something in there that allows you to connect up and control your TV so that's really nice that little remote feature otherwise um, you know nothing else too huge in here that I thought was really uh, unique for this device I mean the rest of your applications this is what it comes with stock on AT&T are, are pretty standard so in your app drawer you can see a couple things here um, I guess one of the big ones that I like to point out is I always like this feature on the devices um, is right here flashlight and it comes on there, it's just a widget you throw on your screen and it'll turn on your LEDs on the back. So you can see it's it's on. Um, I always like that feature a lot. I think it's a, a very good design. And you can actually do like a strobe thing there, you can see too. Uh, I just think that's a very good design to have that in there. I use mine all the time when I need something light for just a second. Uh, other than that, I mean, super smooth, super snappy. Absolutely love um, how fluid this device is. Um, even running stock is, is quite nice. So, all these notifications, i got to turn off those tips. They're driving me nuts. Um, but, yeah, there you go, guys. That's pretty much it. That is the LG G2, like I say, on AT&T. But all the other carriers are going to be the same, just changing out the blowware, basically. So, I hope you guys like this little review of this device. I, I would recommend it. I may get one for Verizon. I, I, I like it. I think it's pretty slick. I think LG did a pretty good job with their interface um, when it comes down to it. So there you go. Hope you guys like this video. As always, hey, please check me out at RootJunkie.com. Got tons of great videos on this device, this device here, and many, many more. And we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out.